Hi, I'm Dr. Amit Verma, and during my practice as a critical care specialist over the past 20 years, I've often had family members of patients come up to me and request that the afflicted stay on a few more nights at the hospital, surrounded by expert care. Sounds reasonable enough, right? Now, given that it's more money for the hospital and it makes the family feel better, they expect me to usually readily agree. They are shocked when I tell them to take their loved ones home right away. Now, why would I do that? Hospitals are seen exclusively as places to heal. What doesn't come up enough is that they're also breeding grounds for infection. And hospital-acquired infections are so common that there's actually a medical term for them called nosocomial infections. Now, here's a scary statistic. Studies show that in developing countries like ours, 20% of patients admitted may contract hospital-acquired infections. How does that happen? Now, when you go to a hospital, chances are that your immunity is already low. I mean, why else would you be there in the first place? Your body could also be in shock. Now, hospitals are supposed to be bacteria-free, and that's because strong antibiotics have already killed all the bacteria if it can. But the bacteria is smart, and the strongest of them develop resistance to these antibiotics. And the ones that survive in a hospital setting are the multi-drug resistant kind. Now, where all in a hospital does this strong drug resistant bacteria survive? Unfortunately, it's everywhere. From your IV, to your catheter, to your food, to your nurse's hands, and even to the air surrounding you, infection can breed everywhere. And this is just the beginning of a morbidly long list. So while you've gone to a hospital to heal, you may end up getting this hospital-acquired infection, making you stay longer, increasing complications, and unfortunately, higher costs. At about this point, you're probably thinking that I've talked you into a real Catch-22 situation. So how does one care for their ailing family member if even hospitals are danger zones? Simple, you try bringing healthcare home. Burgeoning in India is this new concept of medical assistance in your homes of the same standard that you have come to expect of hospitals and at a much lower cost. This helps in cutting back on the crowding of hospital. And if you've had to spend considerable time at the hospital, know your rights. The right to patient education or the right to safety and quality care according to standards, are tools that you need to empower yourself. Hospitals are required to keep their equipment clean and reduce the spread of drug-resistant bacteria. Now, when hospitals say they can't, they are either being too lazy or not giving you the standard of care that you deserve.